hi everyone you're most welcome back to my channel my name is juliana if you don't know me it's so great to have you here i hope that you do stay first of all i want to thank hattitude gh for this beautiful headpiece that i am wearing hattitude gh thank you so much if you want a fascinator as this go ahead to hattitude gh i'll leave the link in the description box so that you are able to check their page out on instagram and then you can have your beautiful headpiece as mine you probably clicked on this video because you might have seen my previous video where i talked about some of the signs that you should leave your relationship immediately as you start realizing them or you are probably in a relationship and you are seeing certain things that you are not too sure of or it is also either that you are just curious to know whatever that i have to say about this topic so here's the thing you are the only person who knows your partner to a certain extent no matter how short of a time you have been with that partner i mean there are certain things that obviously when you see you would realize that these things have changed nobody will tell you those things have changed i mean the person is your partner and i'm going to bring your attention to some of these things that i think you need to pay attention to and be guided and advise yourself i don't know how many people enjoy being cheated on and i don't know if you enjoy being cheated on do you enjoy being cheated on i don't think so <laughs> well if you do enjoy being cheated on <laughs> all the best to you and all the best to your family say hi to all your family members for me because i don't know where you come from that was just by the way the thing is you immediately start to feel something is not right you haven't really figured out the exact thing that is making you feel suspicious but you are just not um right about the things you are feeling so for example you 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 chat with this person all the time you're always having conversations and when you are with this person everything is so smooth and all of a sudden the person is not calling you again the person is not really into the, the conversations you've been having the person tells you that they are sleeping and you check your phone the person is still online i mean for god knows how many hours they are online you wake up and you still see that a person is online meanwhile you have both said your goodbyes i'm not saying that goodbye simply means everybody is going to sleep but then you ever since you met this person you know his or her sleeping hours but then all of a sudden your partner's sleeping hours have changed it's not as if the person is, is now a student or it's not as if the person has traveled and is in a different country where the time zones are different it's not as if the person is engaged in a particular project so things have changed a bit nothing has changed at all but all of a sudden his or her sleeping hours have changed and they are not calling you as as they used to they are not having conversations with you as they used to i mean you it is not as if it's cause for you to leave the relationship but then why has it changed i mean if nothing is at stake why has it changed you've asked this person over and over again why don't you call me as usual and the person is not really giving you a concrete answer i mean if you haven't found anyone who is getting your attention other than you being involved in a business project or traveled i mean why have our conversations changed i mean if it is not somebody that you are seeing why have those changed and why am i getting the feeling that something has changed because i don't understand so you know when when all these things happen I, it, you don't really know what is happening but your instincts are not making you sleep believe it and start i don't know whether you're going to do your investigation but for me when it happened to me i did my investigation and eventually i ended up finding out the truth the other thing is you go and visit this person and the person can't leave his phone even beside you when the person is going to bath their phone is with them when they are going to eat their phone is with them when they're going to wee wee their phone is with them when they are sleeping their phone is under their pillows i'm not telling you to go and sleep by your boyfriend or your girlfriend's house don't go and sleep there you're not married <laughs> But when you visit this person, the person can't keep their phone even beside you for even a minute. When they, are when they have a call, immediately they rush out. But that is not how they were. Or no, or to one the person, they turn their phone upside down. They don't want you to even see the screen. I mean, it raises, it raises things. Don't you know that it is raising things? Is it not suspicious to you? This is a clear sign that something they did, something is actually happening. Please, me, I don't understand. If nothing is wrong why are you hiding your phone calls from me i respect confidential messages but on the regular 
why are you hiding most of your conversations i mean you have 10 calls in a day and you're hiding about eight of them from me and it's not as if that's how the relationship started i have been hearing your conversations on phone i have been seeing your phone screen so why are you not turning your phone upside down why are you not calling me often why have things changed you know your instincts are not making you sleep so when those things are happening and your instincts are really hunting you down and you keep asking your partner over and over again and you're not getting concrete answers somebody might be occupying that position advise yourself and then when your partner starts cheating he or she starts criticizing the things they used to fancy about you so when your partner met you you were slim you were fair you were dark but then all of a sudden they are criticizing oh you look too slim you look too big you look too dark your hair why is it natural why is it permed if you are not seeing anybody who is making you feel the other side of my skin color why are you so concerned and why are you complaining about my skin color now we are into three months into this relationship we are five months we are one year into this relationship you have never talked about my hair you have never complained about my body so why are you now complaining do you want to leave me you know so when they start cheating on you they want to now look at you in a certain particular way and they want to criticize you and then when your partner starts acting emotionally distant from you all of a sudden this person doesn't want to really see you as you have been planning to do maybe you normally make a visit once in a month or maybe twice in a month depending on your location or depending on whatever arrangements you have made with your partner and all of a sudden the person is becoming emotionally distant so i say even when you are, so even in your conversations you can feel it the person is not able to really express him or herself well with you i mean they are not able to open up with you they stop telling you the nice things they stop giving you compliments they stop telling you they love you they even forget to wish you a happy birthday they even forget about your important celebrations you tell the person the date you are graduating he or she has forgotten your birthday they have forgotten a particular celebration both, both of you have been celebrating maybe celebrating one month of your relationship one year of your relationship and they forget and then you sit back and you're like ah if they haven't gotten anyone else i mean who is occupying the space that you are forgetting all the things that we used to celebrate that you are forgetting to give me those nice compliments when you see me in that beautiful dress so the person becomes emotionally distant from you and you are wondering why there may be someone somewhere that is occupying these positions and they are gradually taking your partner's attention from you and your partner is always getting easily offended by the slightest thing you say by the slightest thing you do why you're having a normal conversation and out of nowhere the person will pick a fight with you you don't even know what you have said that this person is picking the fight with you ah it is just a conversation we are having must we fight about this but this one doesn't call for a fight why are we fight why are we fighting and this is not a person you always fight with and then you realize that you are still checking up on him as you should maybe you check up on him in the morning and then in the afternoon you check up on him in the evening you check up on him but now this person finds it irritating i mean when did we get here like i mean when did you tell me that i should stop calling you in the morning i thought every morning we, we talk before we go to work every afternoon we talk before we resume lunch every after every evening we talk before we sleep and then once in once a while during the daytime we talk or as for us we are chit chat mates so why has it become all of a sudden offensive to you why is it irritating if you don't have anyone that is keeping you busy that is not replacing those calls that is not replacing my calls why has it changed if your partner picks fights with you they are irritated by the slightest thing you say they are irritated by the slightest thing you do be watchful and you know when they are offensive like that they make you feel wrong all the time like i say they be on a wire bunny like <laughs> i don't know how to say they be on a wire bunny you are always wrong even if you are wrong what is so hard for him to try and correct you amicably and and let things be and let things move forgive yourselves but it is not happening none of those is not happening he still blames you she still blames you for the wrong that she caused advise yourself all of a sudden your partner is giving you excuses upon excuses you have planned to meet this weekend and the person gives you excuse oh no you can't come i mean some of these things these are some of the things that i to me whatever they are happening and <laughs> most of the times they are true because the person doesn't give you any tangible reason why these things are happening 
and funny enough you probe further and they don't tell you anything reasonable now let me tell you the experience that i had i mean i experienced all these things with this person i mean he doesn't call as he used to it's not as if he had traveled i mean everything was just as it was but then things began to change and i started having my suspicions and this person i asked him he said oh there's no problem are you okay maybe there's a particular issue you know we all go through certain phases of life and it makes us behave some way our mood changes you know but then he said no everything is okay i mean is your i asked him are your parents okay is everybody fine in your family is somebody dead i mean i was just trying to figure out what exactly it was because things were not the same as they were and this person kept telling me that everything was okay but deep down within me i knew things were not okay because he was giving me he wasn't giving me the attention that he usually gave gave me i mean when i want to go and visit him he would tell me i should come later we weren't going on dates he was always telling me that he was busy and with the slightest thing he would be offended i mean he would pick up fights with me out of nowhere and then when you're having a conversation he will, he will mention somebody's name I'm like hey please me they have had it and when i asked his friends best of the same feather they also didn't say anything and well i took the pain i went there and the first thing that i realized was that he couldn't leave his phone beside me for even a second so i mean i'm kind of technology literate so i was able to <laughs> I know it's wrong but then i had to find something to satisfy myself to calm my nerves and to confirm my instincts that the things that i was suspecting were true so i had been to his whatsapp and then the things that he saw if you know how to hack into somebody's i'm not the one going to teach you how to hack into somebody's whatsapp but that is what i did and the things that i saw and when i saw them i woke up with him that day listen like i was saying in my previous video don't wait for don't say you are giving second chances it's not as if he didn't apologize he did apologize but then upon further considerations i need you i need you to be very very frank with me and i need you to be very disciplined okay grown adults we have sat down to plan our lives and you have decided to mess it up for the first time you think you you want me to believe that you're not going to mess it up for the second time I don't buy that into the idea i do not buy that i don't buy that maybe you buy that and when it comes to relationships i don't give people second chances you know we are grown adults let's not behave as if we are children and we don't know what you are doing that you made a decision to be in another relationship apart from, apart from what we share and you want me to understand you you see do not be deceived by what people are saying i mean all men are equal all women are equal a man will cheat if he will cheat a woman will cheat if he will cheat there are still good men and women out there who have made up their minds to be disciplined enough and respect themselves to be in a very healthy relationship without having extra relationships outside there are genuine people like that so don't buy into the idea of when your partner cheats you can forgive him and then life goes on the likelihood that that partner that partner will cheat again is very high and when you finally marry wahala for you maybe you are not confident in yourself you don't know your self-worth you don't you don't value yourself you don't want to be happy like you don't value yourself your partner is sharing you with somebody like you don't value yourself value yourself respect yourself and work out of that relationship if you are not confident in yourself you need to be confident in yourself and i'm going to talk about confidence maybe in another series but you need to know your self-worth and you need to value yourself and know your worth and be confident that you won't entertain any cheating partner in your life don't entertain cheating partners if everybody was not entertaining cheating partners the world would be so cold the world would be so happy and if you are a cheating partner advise yourself today may the grace of god fall on you and advise yourself nobody deserves to suffer for being in a relationship the right person will come as i always say do have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and share